a very good morning. Good morning. Rachel and uh, Miriam. Maria. It's great to see you. Thank you Can for you coming. Can you tell us a bit more about your work? Of course. So welcome to Stanford. This is our lab space where uh, we study uh, cardiovascular disease, including the PLN mutation. If you come this way. So this is our lab space over here. These are what we call our lab benches, where we do most of our research. We all have an individual workspace where we can do our experiments. Um, and if you come this way, camera incoming with you. Yeah. We're on camera here. <laughs> so this is our tissue culture room, where we uh, where we study all of the cells. So here we have biosafety cabinets that keep the cells um, sterile. And then over here, <laughs> so this workspace keeps the cells sterile so we can work with them without getting any infection or contamination. Um, and we also have machines here that help us do work with stem cells specifically, so we can take patient fibroblasts, skin cells, or blood cells and turn them into cardiomyocytes using this machinery here. And then as you can see here, I'll go right behind you, we have our incubators where the cells live. So these are the environments where both the stem cells and the cardiomyocytes, uh, we can keep them in culture and do lots of different experiments with them. Um, here will be a lot. Well. Here you can see we have, um, you know, dozens and dozens of plates of patient cardiomyocytes that we can work with. And then if you come this way, so we have more bench space over here. We have our chemical fume hoods where um, we can work with safely with different toxic chemicals that we need for our experiments. Right. And then over this way, we have um, very, very cold uh, freezers. So we have minus 80 degrees Celsius freezers, um, as well as liquid nitrogen, which is even colder. And so. As you can see in here, we have a liquid nitrogen tank, um, which is extremely cold. I'm not going to in. Um, and here we store, honestly, hundreds or thousands of vials of many different cell types, but other, also patient stem cell lines that we can use and turn into cardiomyocytes for our studies. 